welcome. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take out the background. There's several ways you can do this, and then we're going to drop a different color in there. I've done this before, but this is another method. So, and if you have a better way or a different way of doing it, just let me know because in Photoshop, there's many ways to do something. So, we're actually going to remove the background, and uh, this is how I find it. There might be a better way to find it, but I don't know how to find it. So, I just put in discovery or discover up here at the top where it says help. And when I do that, it brings this up. So I'm going to go right here to the house icon. And right here, when I do that, it has a lot of different things here. So we're going to go to quick actions. And once I do that, it, it brings up this really cool menu of all these different quick actions. So I'm going to show you how to remove the background using a quick action. And then we're going to drop a different color in there. So click on this quick action that says remove background. And... Okay, so I didn't do that right. So let's try it again. Let's go to select the background that you're going to actually uh, be using. So it's this layer right here. Make sure if you have different layers, you select the right one. Let's try it again. Remove background. Okay, so it did a pretty good job. Now, if you notice, there's some areas on this that's not good. We're going to clean it up the best way. If you have another way of doing this, let me know. I'm going to go Command Plus which is basically like the zoom in tool, which is right there, okay? Then I'm gonna hold down space bar, and right here, we got this ear area that we're gonna work with, okay? So we're gonna select this to be black, but we're not gonna use black. We're gonna switch this little arrow here to go to white. We're gonna paint this in. So then I'm gonna go to my brush tool and you can change the settings around to what you need on this photo. I've kind of been playing around with it and it's roughly 40 uh, pixels the size and roughly it's a hard brush and it's roughly 20%. So it has a slight softness on the edge and I might have to change this around. So right here, we're going to reveal this area right here. Again, notice that we're on the little mask right there. Okay. So basically we are saying, no, we want to see some of this and it does look a little bit soft. So I'm going to make it a little bit harder and just kind of keep on playing with this. Again, it might need to still be harder. I'm playing around now. I'm at 30%. You can see what looks best. So that looks a little bit better. Okay. So right there, we got that. Uh, I'm going to go to try 40%. Now, if you notice this, you'll notice that the edges are a little bit hard. So notice this right in there. I need to actually hide some of this. I need to mask some of this because now it's got red. The original background was red. So I'm going to go Command Plus, And I'm going to actually come in here and I'm going to change this size to maybe, let's try, we're going to experiment. Let's just try, uh, let's try nine. You can change that. Okay. Let me go Command Z. I went the wrong way. So we had white here on the foreground uh, swatch color right here. Uh, the foreground color is white. Change it to black because now what we're going to do is on our little mask here, we're hiding part of the photo that it didn't quite get. Okay. So right here, we're doing that. And you can notice where it kind of made it soft to right there. Okay. Now there's some hair here that doesn't matter as much, uh, but I do know with this ear over here, we need to clean this up right there. So now I'm going to go back to, uh, what was it? White to show this part right here. And I'm going to actually change that size of the brush bigger. And what I'm doing is with white, I'm revealing the ear because the ear got accidentally selected that's not too bad and you can go back and forth now notice it's a little jagged here so i'm just kind of going over the edge here to make it look a little bit more natural okay notice that kind of putting the face in there a little bit notice i'm gonna try it again now what you can do is that looks pretty good again just kind of cleaning up stuff because the brush is slightly soft, I'm just kind of going over a couple areas that looked a little jagged. 
Okay, so now command zero is gonna make this full size. That looks a lot better. Okay, now let's just drop a color back there. Okay, let's just drop a color behind the person, make it any color you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to layer. I'm gonna go new and let's see, where did I do this before? Let's see. So we're gonna add a new layer, let's see. So now I clicked off of everything and I'm gonna go layer, new. Uh, let's just try layer, I don't know. I've done this, oh no, new fill layer, let's do that. Layer, new fill layer, solid color. So what's cool about this is you're gonna hit okay. And now let's just change that color to something like this. Now notice that layer is over everything, right? It's on top of our picture, we don't want that, right? So slide that layer at the bottom here, okay? Now, if you double click on this little color uh, swatch right here, you can change this color to anything you want and you can see in real time change, okay? So actually, I kind of like a really cool color like that, okay? Change it to whatever you want, have fun with it. I think that's a nice contrast, um, you know? and hopefully got something out of that, okay? So thanks for watching.